Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Lichdom Battle Mage. We are a Lichdom Battle Mage. And we are learning how to blink. Those were the two interesting bits from there. So, depending on your shield type, which I hinted at briefly, you can blink. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Our shield type right now is strategic, meaning that we get up to three quick, short little blinks in a row. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And that we can block. Just like that. Just like that. And uh, there are other shield types. There's one that will let you do infinite quick blinks in a row. Okay, it's creepy. But I'm not so easy to scare, right? You are not so easy to scare. Good job, Dinah here. So, uh, it'll let you do infinite quick blinks in a row, and you can do, like, a charged blink that will do the little Nova explosion thing after you blink, which is kind of cool. It lets you turn your blink into, like, an actual weapon. But when you have that type of shield, you can't block. On the other side, there's a block heavy shield where you can block... And it gives you a wider window for getting the explodey galvanized block. And you can do a charged blink, where you charge up your blink and then shoot forward to do a little blink explosion Nova spell thing. But you can't do any quick blinks, so those are kind of the three things you have to weigh. So right now we're in the middle. We can do quick blinks, and we can block. I kind of like the shield. We'll, we'll see oh what happens God, it's alive. later. For now, we got to kill skeletons. By the way, if you haven't figured it out already, Mr. Detheria, the essence of the fallen, use it to craft new spells. Let's back up real quick. Um, we upgraded our ice. We'll, we'll do this first, and then I'll try to finish that train of thought. So, ice. We can make it so that our ice can be cast quicker. Any ice spell we ever try to cast ever will cast one percent quicker. I like that. One percent damage deal. I like that. That's not bad. 2% status effect duration. That means enemies will stay frozen or they'll have the little cold aura that I mentioned in the last video or whatever. Whatever the case may be, any sort of ice status effect will last a little bit longer. I like that too. We're going to go for that one right now. Um. Anyway, so the enemies. That guy that we just killed, that skeleton that we just killed, had a little like glowy green shieldy bubble around it. It is exactly what it sounds like. It was a glowy green shieldy bubble. We'll run into some more enemies soon, I believe. Maybe. Anyway, some of the enemies will get those shields around them of varying strengths. That just means that like they have more HP. You have to br knock that green shield off of them before you can affect them with, you know, status effects and things. This right here, this little orb canister thing, I mean, it says shield already full at the top of the screen, which kind of, I think, gives away what its purpose is. That will refill our shields. So the three blue segments in the bottom left, those are kind of our shield health bars. When one of them depletes all the way completely, it unleashes a Nova. Boom, we explode. Kind of cool. Kind of a handy little self-preservation mechanism. You'll see that coming up. Now I'm seeing lights. Don't worry. What on earth? Once a shield bar is completely gone, one of those three, that shield will not regenerate unless we go find one of those canisters over there. Otherwise, like right now, if I take a couple of hits, but I don't lose my first shield completely, that first shield will regenerate. It's kind of like how your health works for Commander Shepard in Mass Effect 3, if you've ever, ever played that game. And if you haven't, why on earth are you watching me play this? Go play Mass Effect 3. Seriously, go, go play all three of them right now. I'll wait. Alright, are you back? What did you think? They're pretty good games, aren't they? Um, now we have these cool little tears in space. The cult's messing with the dead now. I get twitchy just thinking about it. You have the braces, dragon, and the strength to use them. Do not doubt yourself now. No, I can do it. With these weapons, try and stop me. That can't be Roth's ghost. And another dragon.
Yeah, so those are going to be little memories, little flashbacks of Roth and the previous dragon. I haven't really figured out what that's all about. Um, this area that we're in right here, I've gotten further ahead in here, but I, I think I've gotten like right to the end, but I haven't actually finished it yet. So that's just so you know how far I've gotten on my own. Also from that memory, we got an Etheria thing. We will talk about those later when we want to get into the crafting. It's such a power trip. It's so good. I love being this, like, ultimate badass wizard. Oh, so good. Okie dokie. Um, another piece of lore backstory thing. Scrolls. Hooray! And that goes into our journal. We'll deal with that later. These purpley ones that I just took there, those are like Etheria containers, I guess. They give us more parts for upgrading and whatnot. So actually, we're going to deal with our journal right now. Journal! So we have Old Drivaser. That's the name of the area that we're in right now. Oh, this is all interesting. This is, uh, it's carrying over other pieces, I think, maybe for my... Nope, maybe. Okay, so this is just our thoughts. Drivaser is so quiet with everyone standing around in this eerie trance. It's like a dream world, but I'm awake. I'm the only one awake. These bracers keep the spell off me. I can't believe the power in these things. So that's referring to up above when we were first given the bracers and all the humans, all the people were just kind of frozen, just kind of hanging out there. That's the spell that the cult has cast on the city. That's what Roth was talking about. Old Drivaser. One minute I'm selling trinkets to noble women, and the next I'm fighting angry corpse, angry corpses under Drivaser. I didn't even know these ruins were here. Shax and his cult friends have been assembling an undead army right under our feet. Tall dragon, am I seeing ghosts? Not that I'm surprised after everything else that's happened today. That looked like Roth and another dragon. Maybe I finally lost my mind. So this is cool because this is kind of us keeping a journal as we go through here. That's I love all the lore and whatnot that we got going on in here. Writings of Oribus, excerpt one. Brethren, let me welcome you to the hidden faith. I understand your pain. You are the downtrodden victims of a world that despises you. Spite burns in your breast, telling you to reject the lies of the church and the crown. Give the Dark Father your loyalty, and you will be able to revenge yourself on the world. Fall into the arms of Malthus and rise. It is called the Cult of Malthus, so... Okay. It's pretty gosh darn creepy. We'll deal with that stuff more later, as we stumble across more and more journal bits. So there's a glowing green enemy that you can see all the way up there. I think we're just a little too far away. Nope, there we go. He's done. Here's another one of our little checkpoint things. And rarity level increased one. You'll see that over on the right. As you go from checkpoint to checkpoint, what did he call them? Like vortexes? Something? Would it be in our journal? Uh, misc vortex pools. That's what these are. Side of magical power harnessed by Roth, the dragon's bracers draw the dragon back through time to the nearest vortex pool upon death as a form of resurrection. The vortex pools can also be used for immediate travel if one knows the secret. That's what I think we saw Rogier doing, because he ran into one of these things and disappeared earlier when we first came in here. Anyway, as you go from a vortex pool to vortex pool, or checkpoint to checkpoint, without dying, your rarity level goes up. That means that you have a higher chance of finding rare items. So the longer you can stay alive, the better your odds of getting good loot, which is a really interesting system. That enemy right there, that one that's uh, in our face, 
with the word lieutenant over him. Or her, I don't know. As you might expect, is a lieutenant. So this is not quite a mini boss, but just like an elite enemy. Cool. And we got an orb that's an item, charging destruction. The orb color represents item rarity. I mean, if you've ever played Borderlands or Diablo or any sort of loot hunting game, then you'll know what that means. Or like an MMO or anything. Yeah. I like these ruins. I like the trees and stuff growing up above, and like the weird little glowy fungus. I like the environments. The game has, you know, kind of some dated graphics. Like, you can tell it's maybe not a AAA, super high, mega budget game. But, I mean, it's got style. You gotta give it that. Like, the whole concept of the game is built around style. Alright, here we go. We got another one of these tears here. One of these rifts. I drew on that rift, and there were ghosts in it. You want to tell me what that was about? Not ghosts, but echoes. Reflections of the past. Cast by those with ties to you or the cult. So now we know what the kidnappers are up to. And these echoes supply components for my spells. I'm not complaining. Oh, I'm gonna like this. I wonder what happened to the other dragon. Huh. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, also good to know that... The previous dragon was also seeing these ghosts. Not these of her, but similar echoes, similar ghosts to what we're seeing. Related to kidnappers. I wonder what she was hunting for. And yes, some of the enemies can shoot projectiles, as we're seeing here. This is surprisingly fun. I really enjoy the mechanics and the systems in this game. I think they did a good job of kind of redefining how mages function. So that's a little, another uh, shield orb restorer canister crystal ball thing. It'll restore our shields. My shield is doing just fine right now, though, so we don't have to worry about that. However, I suspect that's going to change here momentarily. Ah! Oh. Well, you're not the visitor I was expecting. So let me down. Who the hell are you? Roth woke me up. He called me his griffin and told me I'm supposed to scout a path for you. Why you? Because if you have a shot at killing Shax and Rojiro, I want in. All right. Find me Rojiro. Done. Ooh. He can disappear. That's kind of a cool ability. Also, thanks to the Griffin, um, we've had this the whole time, I haven't used it, but we can bloop, use the Griffin's bird and get a little path telling us where to go. Now, <laughs> the interesting thing about that, especially if you're someone who plays games like I do, is that that will show us the critical path, where the game actually wants us to go, where we need to go to complete our objective. And there you can see our rarity levels up to two. So naturally, I like to explore and find optional things and explore little, you know, nooks and crannies and get all sorts of hidden items. So I like using that to uh, figure out which way the game wants me to go so that I can go the other way. Um, 
I mean, look at these ruins. They're pretty fantastic. Okay. Enough of the sightseeing. Let us move along. You're not dead. Holy cow. Oh, hello. That's a ranged one. Oh, and there's another ranged one over there. Shield's almost down. Yeah! And our fire leveled up, too. That's awesome. we safe? I think we're safe. Fire level up. 1% critical chance boost. 1% damage dealt. 4% critical effect multiplier. I think the critical effect multiplier is a larger number because we've already upgraded it once. I think that might be how it goes. I don't know. We're going to keep going with that, though. So we're now up to 6%, which is not bad. We can dish out some really beefy critical hits with our fire. Oh, hello. Oh, man. I really don't like the ranged enemies. Look at that. I love, like, the attack effects and whatnot. Like, the spell effects are really nice. That fire, that is a good-looking fire in this game. You gotta give them that. Like, I think they really nailed the fireballs. And I've only seen a few of the different spell effects in this game. Okay. Okie dokie, so the game wants us to go that way. There's a another rift thing there. There's another path over here, and that one has a checkpoint. Let's check this rift. Or Did whatever it is. That? My bracers pulled something from those corpses. Anything I should know. Their death released an energy called Etheria. It's good for augmenting your spells. <laughs> I'm not eating souls, am I? No. Souls go on to the next world, but this energy lingers. Come, let's continue our search. Devastating Lob. Alright, let's go see what we got over here. I want to fast travel. Okie dokie, shield is full. Our rarity level has increased yet again. There's a thing there. Boy, does this look like a battle arena if I've ever seen one. Careful, that's one of the devices they're using to animate their undead. It's sucking all the life out of Dravasser and pouring it into the corpses down here. So I can break it. I don't know. Something tells me it won't be that easy. 
These I feel are out of their damn minds. Huh. How long have they been lurking around your Vassar? Years, generations. They could have been our neighbors this whole time, just oof, waiting. Ugh. I had no idea I could just stand here and start a dialogue with this guy. That's new. Can we talk some more? Hello. You have cool, enormous rings on your hand. A cool little magic bubble. All right, uh, I think we get to deal with this thing. The energy absorber thing. Oh boy! Kill the undead. That might break it. Hate those ranged enemies. By the way, notice how as we're killing things, the uh, Etheria, whatever it's called, is swirling around that device there. Kind of a neat little effect. You don't get any of your rewards until you've cleared them all out. Oh, okay. There was our explosion. Oh, no. There's an enemy that can freeze us. And here's me running away like a coward. Oh, that's our second shield down. This is bad. Okay. That'll help. Ah, crap. I was hoping I could dodge through that. The answer is no, you cannot. And yes, that is a mini-boss, not like a lieutenant or anything. That is the next level up. So this is the real deal, everybody. Okay. I think... We're just about there on the enemies. Or on the... the grunts. No more of the ranged ones, so it's just us and the mini-boss. Which gets a fast attack. Which is an interesting little... thing that these enemies can get. These sorts of upgrades like that. I like it when I freeze it, it just keeps drifting the way it was before it was frozen. It keeps its momentum. That's a really cool little effect. Are you still alive? I think we're getting diminishing returns because I've froze it so much. So we're going to stick with fireballs for now. Okay, all right. Yeah, look at that. Come on. You can handle this. That is a whole lot of stuff that we just got. Look at that. All right. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was really cool. And we can recover our shield a little bit. Boop! We're back up to our second bar. And if I want to backtrack, I know it's a little bit out of the way, but if I want to backtrack a little bit, we can go get another shield regenerator thing. It wasn't too far back here, so I'm going to do that. I 
Maybe it was too far back here. It wasn't that far, was it? Maybe? It was just back here. Okay. I think that was the game just attaching us to that last checkpoint. Cool. So with this... Oh, not that. This. There we go. We are back up to full... wards, I guess. Full shield. Full... energy. Full health mana. Whatever that is. Whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to head back to where we just were, that fork in the road. And uh, I think this is a good place to call it. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this game as much as I have. Seriously, I mean, it's a bit on the expensive side. It's around like 40 bucks or something on Steam, I think. But I mean, like, really keep an eye out for it and get it when it goes on sale. I mean, it's on Steam, so it'll go on sale eventually. That's just kind of the way of things on the PC. Seriously, check it out. I cannot recommend this enough. It's it's, it, it's a really cool game. I just, I love it. I love the idea behind it. I love the concept of it. I love the ice and the fire, and I love the way our hands look. It's like basically Bioshock, but without the guns. You just get the plasmids. Nothing else. Look at that. Look at that ice storm. It's so cool. So yeah, thank you all for joining me, and may the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.